Hello everybody and welcome to Just Football as I'm bringing you the latest transfer news in the DSTV Premiership. I have the latest on Fortune Makarenge, Temgosi Lodge, Lyle Lakey, uh, Kejas Mailula and many more. Now if you're new on Just Football, kindly click on the subscribe button as we upload similar content every week. Now let's get on with the video. First player I want to talk about is Temgosi Lodge. Now, good news for Orlando Pirates fans who have, who have been concerned about the future of Temgosi Lodge. Now, Temgosi Lodge has signed a new contract at Orlando Pirates. We are expecting an official announcement from the club eminently. Now, this is the current situation. This is coming in from Rasports On. They are saying Temgosi Lodge became the top five highest paid player in the PSL after signing a new three-year contract with Orlando Pirates. Now, both parties, Temgosi Lodge and Orlando Pirates hierarchy, agreed that if any team wants to buy Temgosi Lord, they are going to have to dig deep in their pockets. Now, this is the current situation. And also, remember, with the institution of Temgosi Lord, the sentencing will be handed down on Friday in his assault case against his former girlfriend. So, we'll see what happens with that situation. But it's not expected that the court will be very hard with Temgosi Lord. So, it's going to be probably a suspended sentence. But the sentencing is taking place on Friday. Temgosi Lord, one of the Best paid players now in the Destiny Premiership. Give me your thoughts on that. Do you think he deserves it given the number of injuries he has had in the last few seasons? Now, Tim Gosloch is the best paid player at Orlando Pirates currently in the new terms. Now, give me your thoughts on that. Tim Gosloch, does he deserve it or does uh, he not deserve it? Now, give me your thoughts on that situation of Tim Gosloch. Next player I want to talk about with relation to Orlando Pirates is Fortune Makarenge. I know there's been too many doubts, Orlando Pirates players and uh, technical staff, about uh, the future of Fortune Makarenge. But now, Jose Rivero said he wanted to look at Fortune Makarenge again in pre-season as he wants to give the player a second chance. But now, it looks like uh, Fortune Makarenge has been able to convince the Orlando Pirates mentor as a decision has been made on his future. Fortune Makarenge will remain at the Orlando Pirates for one more year. This was confirmed also by Soka Laduma in the last few hours, Fortune Magarenge will be given another opportunity to impress the coach. Now, he has impressed in preseason, but now he wants to see him in competitive games. Now, Fortune Magarenge, in last season, he did not play a lot of football at Orlando Pirates under Jose Rivero, but now the mentor has changed his mind. It's going to be important for Orlando Pirates to have squad depth in the CAF Champions League because we know it's going to be intense and they're going to be playing a lot more games than they played last season. So every member of the squad is going to be important. And also, still at Orlando Pirates, in case you missed it, Orlando Pirates have officially unveiled uh, Lissetti Gabinga as a new signing. And Lissetti Gabinga will be wearing jersey number uh, 21. Now, if you want to know more on the situation of Lissetti Gabinga, I did make a separate video on Lissetti Gabinga. You can just check it out on Jazz Football. Now, Fushun Makarenge will be remaining at Orlando Pirates and also the Tim Lord has signed a new three-year contract to anticipate other teams who may be interested in his uh, services. Moving on to Kaiser Chiefs. Now, there's a lot of disappointment at Kaiser Chiefs at the moment because they missed out on Rowan Human and they also missed out on Lissari Kapinga, two players that they were interested in and they're also going to be missing out on Kerim Kimbuiri. But uh, still on Kaiser Chiefs, uh, Kaiser Chiefs are still waiting for an, a response uh, from Bullets, uh, Big Bullets FC after they have sent an initial offer for Lanjesi Nkoma. That is a player that they may be getting after a lot of disappointment in the last few weeks. Now, Lanjesi Nkoma is a target for KC. You know, the Malawian winger, he was he was impressive in the Kosafa Cup for Malawi. He has played very, very well. But now KC have offered uh, around 4.3 million rands for his services. But they are still waiting for Big Bullets to respond there's not been a response yet to that beat and again still talking about case chiefs case chiefs are going to be advancing in talks with Stellenbosch fc for the signing of sponsenium tetra as they try to an anticipate amazul fc now there's fear that amazul fc may beat them to yet another signing amazul are very interested in sponsenium tetra as their new head coach has identified him as a target this uh, summer. Now, this is a very, very uh, worrying situation for case chiefs. They want to sign Swansea Mtsetu. They wanted to sign Rowan Human, but they were beaten to it by Amazulu. Now, Amazulu again are in for Swansea Mtsetu, a player that case chiefs has done a lot of work in. We know uh, Swansea Mtsetu wants to join case chiefs, but the teams are still negotiating on the situation. And also, case chiefs did pause the talks with Stellenbosch FC for a while as they tried to anticipate Rowan Human and Lissetika Pinga. 
their deals. But now, Kansas City are going to be resuming talks with Stellenbosch FC, who are willing to sell the players from Stellenbosch Total because he has talked publicly about his will and or his ambition to move to a team that is going to be challenging for major honors. But now we'll see what happens in that situation. It's a case of Chiefs against Amazulu again for the signature of Swong Senim Tetua. Hopefully case Chiefs will win the race this time but Amazulu are in the race and they will beat for Swong Senim Tetua. Let's wait and see in the coming few days whether Stellenbosch FC will get the offer that they want because Stellenbosch FC have also stated that they are not desperate to sell so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get Swong Senim Tetua from Stellenbosch FC. Let's wait and see it's getting hot and hot in this transfer window. It's getting busier. Now we'll see as the situation will be resolved in Spong Senim Tetua. Tell me where you think Spong Senim Tetua will end up. Do you think Amazon will beat KZ to this transfer? Or do you think KZ at least will win this transfer as they try and console themselves? As I continue, I want to talk about Supersport United situation as Gavin Hunt has been talking about their rivalry with Mamelori Sundowns. Now, the uh, Supersport United mentor is not happy. He's uh, shown his frustration that he's not happy about all the players that have been moving from Supersport United to Mamelori Sundowns. He's frustrated by that and he feels like Mamelori Sundowns have been using their financial muscle to disadvantage them in their rivalry. I am sure Supersport United would have been very, very successful and they have maybe would have won a few titles ahead of Mamelodi Sundowns in the last few seasons if they were not selling their players to Supersport United. He also um, mentioned the likes of uh, Mamelodi, uh, Manchester United and Manchester City. He said it is very rare to see a player moving from Mamelodi, uh, Manchester United to Manchester City or if in the other direction. But in the DSC Premiership, Mamelodi Sundowns have made it um, a habit to sign players from Supersport United and he's frustrated about uh, especially the Mamelodi Sundowns signing uh, Tabelo Maseko. Now, this is frustrating. I understand where the coach is coming from. This rivalry is uh, right now, it is very, very weak rivalry because it has become a norm for Mamelodi Sundown to sign Supersport United uh, players. But hopefully, it will change in the coming few seasons. But Supersport United, very, very disappointed. But they cannot resist the financial muscle that comes with Mamelodi Sundowns. But it is a disadvantage, honestly. But in the coming few seasons, we will improve. But this season, I think. Super Sport United have also done uh, some good, good business. They've also signed players from uh, Mamelodi Sundowns. And also, they are still going to try and sign Laila K. Even though, still talking about Laila K, there may be a twist in the tail of Laila K. Because it looks like Laila K may remain at Mamelodi Sundowns as things stand at the moment. Because we have seen something that I'm not sure if it is significant or not. Uh, Junior Mendieta, initially, he was wearing jersey number seven when we, we saw him in the uh, Instagram and so on and so forth but now he has changed to jc number 15 this has made a lot of people to speculate around like a situation because we know like hey he was initially wearing jc number seven at mamelodi sun hours they are thinking that maybe ron mcguena may have changed his mind on the situation of lila like hey but we have not had any concrete information on that but just look at that situation there may be a change in uh the situation of lila k he may remain at mamelodi sun hours after all but super sport united are still interested in bringing back Laila K. Remember Laila K worked with uh, uh, Gavin Hunt before at Supersport United a long time ago and Gavin Hunt was the one who gave Laila K his debut in the uh, PSL as the DSTV Premiership was previously known. Now that's the situation at Supersport United. Very unhappy Gavin Hunt fuming at Mamelodi Sundowns for always using their financial muscle to sign their star players. Now what do you think about that? Do you think it is fair what Mamelodi Sundowns are doing? They've been doing it regularly in the last few seasons. The likes of um, Mukwena uh, the likes of Mbule, the likes of uh, Rowan, Ron, Ronwen Williams, and now Tapelo Maseko. Many players who have moved from Super Sport United to Mamelodi Sundowns. But then again, it is what it is, financial muscle or not, this is what it is. Super Sport United have to sell in order to survive. That Now, that is the situation. Now, still talking about Mamelodi Sundowns. I'm told Mamelodi Sundowns are very, very close to agreeing that deal with Toronto FC. Now, we'll see Keisha Samailula moving. It may be this week or latest next week, but they are close to agreeing terms. But I'm told Mamelodi Sundowns were not happy with the terms before. 30 million rands beat, but they may require a, a little bit more to convince Mamelodi Sundowns. The deal is going to be agreed because the two teams are in consistent, consistent conversations and Keisha Samailula is not even a part of 
Mamelodi and Tour of the Netherlands. It is expected that a deal will be agreed between the two teams. No complications whatsoever. If you were concerned about the situation, there are no complications. It's just a matter of how a payment will be made and over how many years Toronto FC will be paying Mamelodi Sundowns and so on and so forth. There are just a few tweaks and turns right there in the contract situation. But it is expected that it will be announced very, very soon. It is imminent that uh, the player, Kisses Malula, will become a Toronto FC player very, very soon. Now, thank you very much for watching Zanzi. Give me your thoughts on the situation of Temgosi Lodge, Fortune Makaringe, Gavin Hunt being unhappy with Mamaluri Sanouns, and also the situation of cases my Lula and all the players that I mentioned in this video. And also, if you're new on Just Football, kindly click on the subscribe button as we upload similar content every week.